is Jorge Cervantes and I'm here at a greenhouse in Northern California. This place, well, I have I, I just got here. We're going to do a walk through for the first time. I walked just from one end to the other and it's full of young plants. I drove up the road. There's several other gardens here, but let's take a look at this one right now. Let's uh let's see what we have here. We've got a kitty cat and uh meow, meow. well let's let's see now this is this is my friend mark now mark uh and and here he's with humboldt local okay uh can you tell me a little bit about this is mark's greenhouse can you tell me a little bit about this greenhouse mark well this is our basically our main nursery we take our clones and we bring them in here and this is where we treat for um our spider mites different different pests uh, we use kind of integrated pest management i like to add lots of flowers and tomatoes i mean e everything we put all kinds of things sunflowers in here mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> okay and um, and you know most of these strains were made from you know seed so mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately sometimes we don't get seed and we get pests so we treated here okay uh, and what I, I see one of the things you've done is you were just hosied everything down just with plain water and we were talking about mites and water just a moment ago yeah well spider mites breathe through their skin so you know when what, what one of the things we'll do is we'll come through here anywhere from three to even up to ten times a day and we literally take our hose and we wash them off just turn them out and just hose hose them off, and I see you're doing it from the underside, from the top, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, you're, you're not going to hurt them. Uh huh. You know, marijuana is a very strong plant. No, these are real resilient. They've got tough stems on them. It's amazing how many bugs you can knock down with just water. Yeah, just it's just so water. Overlooked. Yeah. But you have to keep it up. You have to do it regularly. Yeah, if you miss if you miss a week, then you're going to have then they come right back. Right. If you stay on it every day, by the time you go outside, they're not really a problem anymore. Yeah, I hear people saying, oh, I don't want these plants. They've got mites on them. Oh, I don't <laughs> want that. You can't bring mites to my property. I'm scared of that. The mites are here. They're everywhere. <laughs> so you need to be, you need to have your IPM, your integrated pest management plan together. Right. And that might include spraying. It might include spraying with water. It might include growing some, some I see uh, there's plants here like marigolds, marigolds. that'll, that'll keep pests away and attract predator bugs. Yeah, and here's some zinnias as well. Yeah, it might and include And I saw some, some um, uh, sunflowers. Yeah, those are and sunflowers. We have uh, nectarines over here. Okay, look at this. Okay, let's let's kind of like start at this end and move this way. Could could uh, could you tell me? Let's well, let's see. Just because of the sun, let's uh, let me stand right here. What about these plants here? Okay, those ones over there are we call that Mrs. Nice. This Mrs. Nice, okay. Yeah, these are, mo these are mother for, plants here. Is that what these are? Those are mother, mother plants. There's, I believe, there's nine different varieties of the Mr. Nice, and we're okay. testing everything growing out and finding the different phenotypes that we like. And this will be our fifth time crossed back into the Mr. Nice from Holland. We crossed a a OG sour diesel into it. Okay. It's just a very, very vigorous plant. That was one of the plants uh, that, that could take several harvests. I remember they got four yeah. harvests on a good oh, yeah. year. And well, that's... When I first started growing Mr. Nice, the buds were the size of my leg, and now they're kind of like this. So we're trying to regenerate this old, you know. It's all modeled straight. after the old big bud. Oh, we've got a chihuahua and a kitty cat here. The kitty cat looks like it's going to beat the dog up. Okay, you better leave the dog alone. These cats keep the dogs in check around here. <laughs> that cat. They're definitely not hey, Mia, Mia, tranquila. Yeah, that's enough. And that's I enough. Keep your mice in check. I bet. Cool. So this is also Stop. part of your integrated pest management. <laughs> this is part of my integrated. This is. So the cat keeps the mice in check. Yes, this is ambulance. Uh, at the time I was doing construction, and I found him about this big in my one of my dumpsters, and we nursed him back, and he's a great mouser. <laughs> he looks like a good guard dog to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's kind of a guard dog. He will. He actually, when I go on walks, the cats do not allow the dogs to go. It's their walk. Uh, they think they're dogs. <laughs> so Mark, wow. Wow. Well, and house, then you've got a totally diverse ecosystem here. You don't have a monocrop of cannabis. I'm seeing yeah. tomatoes. I'm seeing flowers. I'm seeing squash and zucchini. No, it's true. Well, there's there's all. Oh yeah, there's a uh, nicotonia. Everything. You probably have 60 different strains of cannabis in here as well. Yeah. Right. Let's go through this back bed here. Uh, what's in here? So this right here, 
these are Heart of Hope. Um, and we went to number two. I believe we started a dozen of these. It's a high CBD strain. Then we flowered them out. We tested them all. We kept a cutting of them and tested for high CBD. Um, we also have Canatonic One that came from, I think that's a Holland strain. There's Canatonic, Canatonic's from resin seeds, but Canatonic One may, may, may be different. Well, it's Canatonic number one. We had 12 Canatonic. Oh, I see. So we'll, do a, okay. we'll start 12 seeds. We grow them okay. all out. We test them for, for the, type, you know, the uh, ratios of CBD. We had, basically out of 60, we came up with 10 of them. And we've got a Harless Sioux Black Rose that's 22 to 1. Wow. You know, we, we were growing ACDC in the past, but it was really hard to grow. Hey, hey. It, wasn't, it wasn't a very productive strain. You're going to have to and call the cat off the chihuahua. Oh, come here. <laughs> Where is the cat? Mia, ven. Ven. Ven aquí. I got one of these hard to hope from you. Déjalo, yeah. I'm really excited. Déjalo, yeah. 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 Okay. But, you know, one of the things we found with a lot of the clone strains was they were really weak and hard to take care of. So we started making seeds. We started testing. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, it... Well, that's the way to do it. So you, you 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 take the best one and then you you work with that. That makes tons of sense. Boy, these cats are aggressive, They're huh? For <laughs> and then what about up. this bed? This bed right here is Blue Dream. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> hey. Okay, that's enough. Of that. <laughs> the cats, they think the chihuahua's a pest. They're like, that's the biggest uh, mouse I've ever seen in this greenhouse. Damn. They're, they're not sure. The what. cat just attacked the dog. It. Okay, look, look, look. That's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, Don't worry, we've blue got a strain, got a worried chihuahua here. Yeah, yeah, okay. the blue dream. Well, I've had these ones for going on two and a half months, and they're just now starting to look like a plant again. Yeah, you know, we wow. wanted the strain, so we, you know, we. And, uh, and what about these up here on the shelf? Um, these are green crack. Okay. Um, this one over here is a. This, we have a berry white. Okay. And we have seven different OGs that came from feminized seeds. And the buds all look the same, but the, the plants are completely different. Hey, Mark, tell us about the shape these blue dreams were in when you got them and what you did to nurse them to this good state that they're in right now. Okay, so when I got these, they were covered with powdery mildew. They were covered with spider mites. You could almost, you could barely see them. <laughs> and um, uh, we, uh, you, I mean, you can even see the brown on the clones, I mean, on the on the cubes, you know. Oh, they, right, on the oasis. Right. So yeah. we treated them with, um, oh, what is it, beneficial nematodes. We gave them two different types of nematodes. We gave them Grandivo. It's an organic, um, it's a bacteria that the spider mites eat and they die. Um, repeatedly and we just <coughs> waited and waited honestly and a lot of what the treatment you know we pulled off you know down here there wasn't the, the leaves they were they were horrible they were brown they were they looked like this the whole plant oh oh ugly stuff <laughs> so, so these are all started, rescued yeah and that's one of the things we do you notice everything's cut up like a christmas tree right and we'll go through and take all that off to to not make a home for the spider mites they interesting Yep. You know, it, yep. it's a lot of work. It's like, you know, I come through here and it'll take me an entire day to go through and pick through the plants. And I look at it like I'm delousing the plants. <laughs> Pretty know, much you the, are. I pick the bad leaves off, and but we don't want to spray. It's medicine. Now, what about these? This is a real interesting sight here. Notice how all of these plants over here on the right, this bed here, they're all pointed toward the sun. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. They, they're like sunflowers. That's beautiful, isn't it? Like yeah. Solar it's so... Uh, like, yeah. yeah, you can watch them. And you can see that very much from this stuff. angle. And since they don't have the lower leaves on them, it's even accentuated more. <coughs> oh, and, yeah. and they're planted right next to some sunflowers and some more uh, <coughs> marigolds. Uh, marigolds. And then here we've got some petunias as well. And it looks like a squash or a cucumber here. Cucumbers, yeah, i got to be careful. They'll strangle them. Uh, that's right. Yeah, well, so all of, what are these? These are uh, uh, this one cherry, pie. cherry pie. Cherry pie. Okay. I think that's a Mendocino strain. Okay, and these are all rescues too, along the same lines, oh, right? Yeah, these were kind of rescues. All right. You can kind of tell. You know, they're coming back. But if you come back here in a month, I'll show you some that were another rescue project that are about a month older. 
Okay. When we leave from and here. what about these here, Mark? What are these? This is Berry White. Berry White. More Berry White. Berry White. There was uh, this came from Holland. It's not the Mendocino Berry White, but it's mm. it's really yummy. Interesting. Now, oh, and this bed over here, we've got more cherry pie. Yep. Cherry Entire pie. Entire beds of cherry pies. Yeah. Those now are. Now here are. Oh, here's a perfect example of some commercial clones that we that we started with. Okay. Let's uh, let's take because a. Because we wanted the strain. Okay. This is how they came okay, to us. Okay. We'll just hold that real still there. For... Yeah, they look like shit. They look like garbage. They that's do. a month later. That looks really that's a, good. But that's a month later. Okay, and this plant, that looks a lot different than these plants yeah. over here. Sure, well, it takes us a lot of time in here to... Oh, well, that they look really rough, don't they? Yeah, that's oh, what these yeah. look like. Hey, Mark, will you tell us about your Tomatoes. grow light set up in here? Because I'm seeing yeah, we're... I don't usually see a lot of in Humboldt County, and that's your LED grow light. That's okay. true. Let's so take a are, look up here. I believe they're 40-watt grow lights. Okay. They're a red and a blue. Um, they're really, really cheap. How much did um, that panel cost there? I think those are about $70, $75. Wow, that is cheap. And um, it's 40 watts? And it's 40 watts. So our entire greenhouse is 600 watts. We used to use these thousand watt lights, but it would light up the whole valley. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, that's true. <laughs> yeah, and when you turn these on, it's, it's, you know, people think I'm having a rave down here. It's a dull red light. It's just a really, it's kind of purple. I think you've got the purple right. light district. Right, and then here. we have these in here for pointing in different directions, and those are seven watt red LEDs. Okay, those are very small. So it's okay, really, really and low what, power what service use. do all of these, uh, or what? What function do all these uh, play? Well, it keeps the plants in, the, in their light cycle during the um, the winter time. The winter time. Okay, it so gives it, it breaks up the photo stage. period. You know, and I've talked to my neighbors and said, "What do you feel about this?" They hated the big lights, and I, nobody's had a problem with this. That's great. And they said it looks Excellent. like Christmas. So it's another way you get along with your neighbors. That's great sure. idea. I'm not blazing out the whole neighborhood. It looks kind sure. of nice. It doesn't bother. You know, because it doesn't pollute, the light pollution from the LEDs is very light. Yeah, um, yeah. In the Humboldt and Mendo ordinance, you're not allowed to have uh, lighting uh, leaving your boundary lines. You're not allowed to have... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Houses. So if they are lit up, they need to be covered. You oh, my gosh. Those, uh, All these rules. new rules. Okay, we've got some more berry white right here. So dim. Well, berry white. There's a couple solutions. You've got that. Then we've got some use... more cherry pie here. Yeah. Okay, let's look over. What are these beds here? Uh, that's more green crack. Me green crack. All right. Popular. And these down here, these clones down here. Um, those are pure these sour are, diesel. Yeah. There's the. the these, denning, and there's where they'll be in, a, in about three weeks. Yep. These are the rest. This is Jorge Cervantes signing off, and I'd like to say thank you so much to our friend Mark for saving the lives of all of these clones and seeing them through to maturity. Important work. We'll talk to you soon.